Japan Mobility Show 2023 here with David Chow, Automotive Press. We have a luxury Lexus flagship future concept here, LFZ, so Lexus Future Zero Mission L for luxury. LFZ L is what this thing is called. It is very striking from the front. You guys are seeing it straight on from the front here. This thing looks enormous. David, what are your thoughts on the exterior design of this concept? So first of all, keep in mind that this year is the first year we're having a Japan Mobility Show back. It used to be called the Tokyo Motor Show. They haven't had it since 2019. And the theme is about the future, the future of Japan, the future of the world. And so everything you see here is a long-term future vision, something they don't always uh, show us in the past auto show. So we're excited to see this, which is still many years away, probably who knows, with a potential for using something like solid state batteries. So practically speaking, engineering wise, this thing could be amazing piece of uh, art, amazing piece of equipment. Uh, but I guess we'll start off with the, with the design. I really like the design with all these um, cars are having these multiple folds, like origami yeah. design now. And you can have a bit of air intake here to cool the batteries probably. A very bold design in the front, signature Lexus L. But this is not the headlight, right? Not the headlight, the, you want to point out the headlight? Yeah, the headlight there? comes down right here with this vertical piece. Um, and there's also maybe additional daytime running light or, or turn signals right above that. And then we're seeing this vertical line on so many concepts, not just mm -hmm. from Toyota and Lexus here. We see it with Honda concepts, Mazda concepts. We see vertical lights on the front and the back of cars. Maybe they see something in the future where that's going to be a design trend like light bars are in today's Yeah, maybe. Era. Yeah, I mean, there's uh, all these talks about car communicating with, with people outside. So I don't know, maybe one of these days this will turn into a display and indicate something like this could be green for ready to go, the battery is ready to go, right, exactly. you know, red for batteries depleting, that kind of stuff. So um, there's, but there's a built-in sensor down here for maybe radar cruise control and other safety features. And that has allowed this whole piece here, which is the spindle body, no longer the spindle grill. We actually see a similar design even in the, the Lexus RZ today. But since the, the sensor is down here, it doesn't need to be incorporated into a front-facing Lexus logo. It's now incorporated mm. actually into this body piece up here. It's flush and it is illuminated. It's really, really sharp and it'll stand out really well at night mm. too. Now the interesting thing is that they didn't put any of the actual like uh, pattern here, like we see in the Lexus RX. So it's plain painted body and maybe that's the indication of what the future Lexus is going to look like and move away from all this pattern to look. Yeah. I don't know about that, right. but let's, should we take a look at the side there as let's well? Let's take a look yeah. at the side. Yep. As long as I don't fall down here, Kirk. Do you, you got it? Yep. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. We don't know how, I mean, I, I haven't looked at this tire. It's totally conceptual wheel and tire carbon fiber. <laughs> we have LED lights built on the inside of it. This looks like a 24 inch <laughs> wheel like, to me. Probably it like 27 or 28 huge. inches. Crazy. It's inside. the biggest wheel I've ever seen on a Lexus for sure. Um, we also have built in turn indicators, I guess, right here uh, because there's no side mirrors. And this actually looks like a camera and maybe a camera down here, Over here as well. for a, autonomous driving features. And you'll notice that again, back to this kind of origami design, lots of fold, lots of uh, angular shape. So this comes over here into an intersection, comes over here again, all the way at an angle right here. So kind of interesting, uh, oh sorry, and one more here as well, very deep angle here and then cuts into right. this section here. So unique design, we, all, we know that concept cars reflect the future design, so some of these elements will show up on the actual production car. But like Kirk said, this thing is it's enormous huge. size, but it's uh, actually um, not, a, not a seven seater, but this is actually a four, four seater. seater. Yeah, so, we'll get on the inside in a little bit and mm. talk about that, but with all this origami uh, hard angles, sharp angles, from every single angle of perspective, you're looking at the car, it hides its size, it hides really what it looks like. So it's a moving piece of art for sure, yeah. because you're always questioning like, what is, what is, what am, what is am I actually looking at? Because it's almost like an optical illusion at every single piece you're looking at this car. There's a little camera here as camera. well yep. uh, that you can, you can barely see, but we should go on the other side. You wanna, and then, we still have to cr creep oh, around sorry. here. Yeah, this is the back first yep. and then we'll do the There's a light bar inside. back here. Yeah, we Very, just have to make sure Kirk doesn't fall down there. Yeah. Anyway, where are we? Um, the, the tail lights. Yeah, light so bar Lexus light bar. Mm -hmm. uh, this is reminiscent of some of the other concept mm -hmm. cars we saw. Again, center piece, center light bar, 
And all these uh, vertical pieces that we saw on the front bumper as well going across the car. It's, it's, I'm not quite it's sure so about this detailed. I don't know what you large, say about flat it. piece. I don't know about this design, yeah. but anyway. Oh, what about the roof, which is hard to see, well, but there's it's got no the glass. pattern. There's no glass There's no here. glass here. So you would have a camera, like you see right here on each side. Yeah. And that will right. show up on the, on the mirror or the, the screens on the inside so you can see out the back. We see this sort of ha uh, happening in, in like a Polestar vehicle. Exactly. Uh, soon so, in the market. So this one takes it to extreme because what happens from the inside, this whole thing is probably uh, like a, a display that shows up the actual view of the back because there's four cameras facing backward. But let's take a look inside and we inside. can show you some of that. And just be careful, detail. this door is a sliding yeah. door. We see this technology first revealed in the uh, Century SUV. It's similar to a minivan door, but it has a single arm to it on the bottom. We're going to ask our camera person to climb up without getting injured here. Um, but you know, one of the things that they said to me yesterday is that this could be a future flagship. Now, it doesn't mean that it's yeah. a replacement for LS. But I'm thinking out it loud, that. right? Yeah. That could be kind of like a Century SUV, but Lexus version, mm -hmm. but electric version with a wide, big opening, sliding door that doesn't just slide like a normal way, but actually comes out and then moves backward with all this space in here. Mm -hmm. Partly because the car is bulging out, and so he has to clear that area to move back. Mm -hmm. But the important thing is you are getting a first class cabin feel inside. We're allowed to sit. Do you want me so, to So yeah, sit? Kirk, please oh, go and sit. Very gingerly. He's, he's taller than me. And as long as he doesn't break anything, we won't get into trouble. But- uh, It's reclined oh, a look ton. At that. It's so comfortable, this, this right? Seat, the seat, well, in production, it would move. So would you move, can sit yeah. more upright. But since it is such an aerodynamic vehicle, there's hardly any headroom. That's why it's almost like, hey, lay back. And then you have all this more relaxing headroom going on. I love the shaggy carpet in here. I hope they bring that into the concept that's coming in 2026, yes. the LFZ C, uh, because all that floor was carbon fiber and it was really loud and echoing in there, but not in here. I'm not hearing the sound reverberator echo. Maybe it's because the doors are completely open the side of the vehicle, the sound can't escape, but it seems like a much more luxurious, quiet experience on the inside. Right, so, uh, and also to point out, in case you weren't aware, this is uh, might not be a real carbon fiber, but this is what we call the raw carbon fiber. It's very popular now. So when I used to own the GR Supra and I wanted to put out a rear spoiler in the back as an add-on, they gave me the option of a, a typical carbon fiber with all the fine lines or raw carbon, which is basically unfinished carbon. And that one, this type of design is really in right now. And so I can see that coming back because it's got a beautiful texture to it. But once again, like Kirk said, this shaggy carpet is weird, right? Yeah. Do we see a trend that we don't know anything about? Uh, and but, I just noticed something here, David. Yeah. We have a fully glass roof for the for the most part. There's a little beam here. There's this panel right here that folds down. I can't see what's on the other side, but it could be a screen that goes all the way across for the rear passengers. And I think that's what it is. That's what it is. Cool. Okay, let me sit in the driver's side now. Also very carefully. I think I'm allowed to step. And that seat is here. very, very comfortable, by the way. Okay, I am climbing into the driver's side. I'm the chauffeur for Kirk today. <laughs> and like many other electric cars we've shown today, uh, we have the kind of a interesting yoke steering, one. which is not quite a yoke, but two small um, views here, two small display. To the right, maybe looks like a music control, audio control. This is drive, park, so it's a shifter right here. Probably other practical functions also. And then the steering itself wouldn't move too much because it's electric. Uh, steering obviously, um, but you even have a paddle shifter, you can see minus and plus, and some controls over here as well. I mean, who knows if something like this will actually make it to production, but the idea of a kind of flanked design with a small steering with uh, controls converted into electric or digital format is probably something that obviously they are going to be working on. We got two big display, kind of Tesla style, mm -hmm. um, but this one is obviously a bit far off on this side for driver, which is why I get two small ones. But for the passenger, wow, look at the two large screen. Huge. They look bigger than 14 inch, right? So yeah. looks like a huge iPad. Yeah. And then look down below, you have a touch screen for additional functionality there for the driver and passenger. Yeah, so I, obviously this is not functional right now, but music control, uh, also what is this, home, work, cafe. So maybe navigation system in here, two well, we large going, compartment. David. Okay, we're going to get in trouble. We gotta, yeah, we're going to get in yeah. trouble. So but we're going to open the open up oh, the door. Uh, we can't open the other doors. So we can't do that. But gotta we'll get, get out. Got to get moving. It's actually really easy to get out of this car compared yeah. to the LFZC over there. 
That thing's super low to the ground, real tight, real compact. This is definitely more of a luxury flagship vehicle. Could be, could be a future electric LS flagship LS, but kind of a semi SUV style. Could be amazing, guys. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments see you down below. below. We'll see, see you guys next later. Week. Peace.